round of 16. Group C, match two, symbol versus SOS. Down here in the bottom right, as the red Protoss player. Arguably one of the best Protoss players across the entire globe at the moment. It is, of course, SOS. Fantastic results so far this season, day nine. Against pretty much any race, every race. And there he is, the handsome fella from Wujing Stars. Now, his opponent, who's shown incredible, consistent form for many years now, mm. but primarily in the Zerg vs. Zerg matchup, has been quite an uphill battle ahead of him. Azubu's symbol. Interested to see what sort of trickery he'll have up his sleeve, because yeah. I think Zerg has sort of been pigeonholed as the non-tricky race. I think I think Zerg, especially against Protoss right now, are in a bit of a difficult position. I, I don't think they really know exactly what they're doing at this point, especially against, I like to call it, the New Age Protoss style that SOS has been developing with a couple of other players around. Reverse Fonde Monday, cast in each other's accents. Look how fun. Alright, well, um... Well, I've got something to tell you. I really, really can't do American accent. Gary, go on then, be me. Be me for, for the next sentence. Well, hello, look at me, I'm Dave Polo. And I'm not casting StarCraft in my trousers. Can't top it, can't top it. All right, I'm ready. Not even gonna try. All right, no, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm I ready can't for the do day it. Nine. I can't do it. I'm actually terrible at accents. I've only got one. It's this one. <laughs> That's that is a, that is a, that. I mean, the the your accent repertoire is actually very similar to the Zerg opening repertoire that they have against Protoss. It's, it's very limited. Very limited. And puts him in a rough spot and is embarrassing. I wouldn't go that far. It's not that <laughs> bad of an opening. But um, back to the point I was trying to make is that SOS will play this game and his. Army composition without stalkers. I think this is something that's really been out there as yeah, of recent. Yeah, I mean, the, the stalkerless play, I mean, especially, um, I, mean, I hate to say it, but the strength of Zelen Archon is actually just so prevalent now. I mean, stalkers used to be the linchpin of any PvZ composition. And wow, look at this. He's already putting three back in gas. I mean, normally the reason why you just have two in gas is that you have just enough for the Mothership Core and just enough for the warp gate with a little bit later maybe a stalker maybe not that sort of thing but i mean even in this circumstance a lot of people do have a tendency to skip out on that fella in favor of an earlier nexus so it does look like there's going to be some hints of aggression but what is sos going to do with all that extra gas there's a number of options well i think you'd want to get a sentry out quite fast uh, behind this yeah uh, especially to get the hallucinated phoenix down quite early in this game he needs to figure out exactly what his opponent is doing but uh We'll see. I mean, he hasn't spent anything yet. Uh, unless he's going to go for a super fast Stargate, potentially, before anything. Okay, there it, there is. it is. Look at that. Before Warp Gate, before Four Sentry. Minute, 30 seconds. God, that's, that's early. Fast. fast. Now, he can only get two more buildings in this process, which is why the Stargate is actually part of the wall off. He's going to have to get a pylon up at that north edge, and then he can build a gateway. And <laughs> that's basically it. He really can't even afford to get, say, another forge or any of the optional builds from three gate or one gate or something along those lines. All right, well, we'll see now as the wall is uh, available to be filled in, and there's a single forge coming down. So just off one gateway here, what unit does he build straight from the Stargate? Definitely is it Phoenix? Is definitely, Phoenix? definitely, yeah. All right, there it is. I mean, uh, oh, sorry, go ahead. I mean, this is the sort of thing that's basically saying, I'm, I'm, I'm going to begin getting all these buildings up, and with a little bit of proper scouting, I know I've beat you to Zergling speed. All right, I like this uh, addition from Symbol here. He's continuing to get gas, and he's got overload speed on the way. And he's going to want to poke in there to find out what exactly his opponent's doing. But Symbol, uh, I mean, like I said earlier, he hasn't actually played any games against Protoss this season, so I really don't know what to expect from him. I watched yeah. a couple of games that were a bit older, over a month old, but... To be honest, that you know they weren't very relevant to the recent you know strategies within Zergus's Protoss. Yeah, so yeah. I have no idea what to expect from him today. Now, what I'm looking super closely at at this point. Oh, there it is. We're starting to see the evolution chamber go down. It looks very much so like he's hinting towards that very fast 
melee carapace upgrade thing. Now, as I'm, wow, he's even getting a cannon in there. SOS, see this cannon has really screwed up his gas income at his expansion. Normally, you'd want to be throwing down a robotics facility soon. He is not going to have a robo facility anytime soon at all, which means these phoenixes are going to have to be sensational in terms of their damage output. Slowing down his opponent, ideal goal here. One Zoglin gets killed off there. Maybe another one, maybe not. But the Phoenix is, yeah, they're going to have to do damage. And so as a put on down, getting all the walls, getting drones, even the Queen if he can find it. Okay, so we know what Symbol's going to do. Yeah. With the plus one melee coming down, he will be looking most likely here towards Ultralisk. Just to get the melee upgrades down. Another yep. style that has come out recently again is going straight to Broodlords. Getting these, especially if not scouted. Because the upgrades, of course, affect Ultralisk and Brood. But it really high opposite to deal with Broodlords. Ooh, wow, look at this, SOS. Very smart move. He's going for the Nexus. He knows he, uh, you know, going for the can. I was just saying earlier, completely botches your ability to get those two geysers up anytime early at all. Mm. So great, SOS is going to go straight for the Void Ray. He has these four Phoenixes to be able to harass four Phoenixes. With one lift, can kill off a Queen. And then he's just going to be going straight into probably a Sky Protoss. Yeah, he's a big fan of going Sky Protoss. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a second Stargate. Smile, there's two more. Yeah, so uh, going definitely here. I, I, at this point, you probably want to start getting plus one uh, air weapons and also probably plus one shields. Uh, especially if you're going to you know, commit to going Stargates, which he is at this point. So I expect that to follow down shortly here. He's very limited on the gas he's got. It's a couple of circles do try to run past. They do now know what's going on for the first time. They've only just spotted that Nexus, and it's, I don't know, 90% complete by the time he spots it. And he also sees the Stargates. He knows exactly what he's playing against here, Symbol does. Now, this is an interesting choice. What do you go for? Infestation a pit. Symbol, you know? So this could be what we saw earlier from Gangho, a similar style, potentially. You know, I, I actually don't. mind the idea of still going straight up for the layer in the midst of all of this. You mean a uh, hive? <laughs> yeah. Yes, I do. Except she lose the food. Good to have a backup plan. All right. So I mean, what does he try to hit though? Oh, does he go ultralist still? There's, I mean, there's three Stargates. There's a lot, a lot of Void Rays that can come out. I mean, on other maps, it's actually hey to the full effective way to bolster that force and just keep units off the Void Rays. But we have more Queens coming in and Pathogen Glands being researched. Cool. We are going to see a similar attack to how we saw Gangho play uh, in B. So what this is, is basically getting a lot of infested with the gas he's going to have off three bases and just using his minerals for Queens and launching an attack towards the third base of SOS. The crucial thing that you need to deal with this kind of army composition from Zerg, very simply, is Storm. So when we see the Temple Archives coming down, we know that SOS will be in a comfortable position, and there it does come down already in this game. This is going to be a tough task for Symbol to try and break it. Yeah, I actually, I'm, I'm still kind of thinking that he may go for this mix with Ultra. Uh -huh. Try to throw in some transfuses at the front. Because the thing that's yeah. really going to be hurt hurting symbol in these engagements is the zealots sprinting right on up to the queens sprinting right on up to the investors with really no wall you like stole the build he stole your builds all right full void rage and a mothership core obviously you can recall at any point remember there are fungal growths that can be quite annoying with these void rays he's going to surprise attack it SOS looking for a snipe here. Does have plus one. Here he goes. They're all, they're all small crawlers and Infestors aren't too far away. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. There's a the charge up. It looks like he is going to go straight for the oh hive. My oh my god. Oh my god. He is going to go straight for it. Oh, this is going to be a oh. death. Oh god. He is going to get that. Where's the transfuse? So many queens. Oh. So many queens. Oh. And he gets it. Wow. He manages just to get out. I mean, symbol. For all his prowess, is really looking sensational in Zerg vs. Protoss in a, such a unique way. And there's the Ultra Cavern going down. Queen, Infester, Ultra Lane. What a cool mix. I was close there, getting that uh, 
getting a hive. So the, the problem is, though, that the, the combination of units that Symbol's going for, yes, he has a couple of Infestors, but what anti-air does he really have to deal with the Void Rays? Sure, Ultralists are going to be re very good against what the, the, there is on the ground, but this Void Rays... I mean, he's banking a lot on the strength of those Queen's anti-air. I mean, the range 7 means they do outrange the Void Ray, so... If he gets 10 to 14, should be in comfortable shape against this increasingly small amount of Void Rays that we're seeing at SOS. The second, uh, is second Robotics, or is that the first Robotics we've seen in this game? Is it... Let me search through my brain. I think it's, I think it's the it's first. Robo 1, yeah. Wow. Really delayed in this game. Well, anyway, what we're going to see next is these three three upgrades are coming in. Seven uh, Zealots too. SOS is very strong at this point. He doesn't have the best upgrades, but it doesn't matter if he's got the right units. More yeah, so. he's trying to strike before the Ultralisk. Yeah, he's going five Queens at once. Symbol. That's yeah. exactly the composition he's going for. We haven't really seen this that in gameplay. This is a very exciting first look at this hyper-modern ZVP style. He can feed back these Queens and Infestors, depending on where his high tap are at the point. Zealots are going to get in. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh -oh. Ultralisk not quite out yet. It looks like Symbol is in complete retreat mode right now. Yeah, and that base goes down immediately down south, and SOS is going to move up north here. Where are the Ultras? Eight of them are coming. Gosh, oh my god, SOS is striking at the exact perfect moment. The Ultralists are well out of position right now. And well, look at the Ultralists just going to go down so fast with these Ordinaries and Zealots. Oh my god, he's just target firing them. That's so crazy. Oh my god, SOS dominates that in a matter of seconds. Storms directly on, feedbacks directly on. Symbol gets completely obliterated. Needed just 20 more seconds, Apollo. What a perfect timing from SOS, just demonstrating why he's one of the best Brodus players at this current point in the game through symbol he's lost all his expansions he's gonna lose this north one so just four zealots i don't need more than four zealots that's off can use domination in this game you know i was definitely surprised to see the cool moves that symbol was pulling out but sos looking at his dominance just too impressive sos you don't even need to know the opponent is you know sos is gonna deliver and he yeah. sits down at the absolutely fantastic brings his form